Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and as you can tell by the title, we're talking about the 10 features that you might not know about the Galaxy A52 5G, and even if you do know them, you might learn something new. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first one on our list is the 120Hz, so if you go to settings, display, go to motion smoothness and here you're going to see two options high and standard so high is that 120 hertz refresh rate that we've seen on the galaxy s20 series the note 20 series and the s21 series of phones and so this makes it really really smooth in terms of scrolling animations and all of that as you can see here we have 120 hertz on the 4G model, you will have only 90 hertz, so it's still an upgrade compared to the A51 from last year, but you will have to kind of decide whether you want a good battery life, because if you want better battery life, you have to go with standard, which is 60 hertz, but it will save you a lot of battery life. I've noticed that with 60 hertz on, I, I go through the whole day without a single problem, but with the high refresh rate, I tend to barely make it to the end of the day, so keep that in mind. All right, so for this next one, what you wanna do, pinch the screen. You're gonna see wallpapers. And then from there, you're going to go to wallpaper services, dynamic lock screen, and you'll press settings. And so here you're gonna have a ton of different things to choose from. And basically what this does is you can choose from different packages right here landscapes, plants, dogs, animals, all of that. And this is gonna be for your lock screen. So every time you unlock your screen or turn on your screen, you're gonna see a different wallpaper. I like this one because I get really bored of wallpapers real quick. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of how it's gonna look like, if we go to the, the always on display and then tap, you will see that we have this wallpaper. Then we go back and then we have this wallpaper then we go back and we have a polar bear staring at us. So different little things. And if you want to view all of them, you can view from right here, swipe from the from the right side. And you're going to see all the different wallpapers that are going to be constantly in rotation. Samsung updates this around every two weeks. So you get fresh new wallpapers in these packages that you chose. So this is really good for people who get really bored of their lock screen real quick, like I do. I get really, really bored real quick. So this is good for me. I personally like this. I, it, it's hard for me to get bored of these because I'm constantly on my toes on which one's gonna show up. This is definitely a very good option for those who wanna use this. All right, for this next one, I think this is number three. We go to settings, scroll down to advanced features, then what you want to do is go to motions and gestures so here you're going to have quite a bit of options here and not all of them are going to be set to on by default some of them are off and i turned some of these on i don't remember which ones were off i'm pretty sure it was double tap to turn off the display so basically you have first one is lift to wake so what you, what this does is pretty much as soon as you grab the phone and you put it up against you kind of like this in this motion it's going to turn on the screen for you little demonstration See, there we go. So we have that and we have a double tap to turn on the screen, which is basically what we've seen on Samsung phones for a while now. But a new one is double tap to turn off the screen. So double tap, double tap to turn it on, double tap to turn it off. So very cool to see that on board. And so the next one is gonna be keep screen on while viewing. So if you're reading like a really long paper, or just staring at your screen for a picture, it's going to keep the screen on regardless of the screen timeout that you already set previously. As long as you're viewing the screen, it's gonna be on. For the next one, it says alert when phone is picked up. So if you miss a message or a call, it'll vibrate. For mute with gestures, you can just turn your phone upside down and it'll mute the call. For palm swipe to capture, normally it would be something like this, but I've never actually gotten it to work, so I don't know what's going on. But anyway, if you can figure it out, let me know, because I would love to know. For this next one, you're gonna go to settings, and go to advanced features again, 
This time press side key, which is right above the one that we just talked about. And here you're gonna see a couple of options. For double press, you have three options, which is open an app, quick launch camera, or open Bixby. A lot of people never use Bixby, so I don't use it. And then press and hold is wake Bixby or the power off menu. Now there's a couple of different ways you can turn off the, the phone. One of them is by going to the panel here and choosing this little power button, that's gonna turn off the phone. Or you could press the power button, press and hold, and you're gonna see your options here. But you also have the option to wake up Bixby. So you can do that. I don't really like Bixby, it's not really useful to me, but I know for some people you might like it. And also you can open different apps, so you can choose a specific app if you put open app. For me, it's launch camera, so double tap the power button, and there we go. And if you really don't want it on, for double press, you can just toggle it off. For this next one, you have to go to the control panel, swipe once, and you're gonna see screen record, and there you're gonna have your options here. So, screenshots and re screen recorder. For screen toolbar, we all know that little, that little bar, that toolbar that comes up every time we take a screenshot. Pretty much, you can choose from there whatever you want to do. Then, right here, something I like is hide status bar and navigation bar, so you get only the content that you want, not useless things like the, the bar or the notifications, so that's something that I find really useful. Another thing you can do is delete shared screenshots, so maybe you want to screenshot that meme to a friend, but you want to delete it afterward, this can do it for you right away. Now. For screen recorder, you have options here. You can record sound or sound and your mic. So this is good for gamers and things like that. But if you don't, you don't want to record any sound, there's that option for no sound. For video quality, you have three options, 480p, 720, and 1080p. Obviously, I chose 1080p because I want high quality recordings. So obviously, it takes a little bit more storage, but I rather have higher quality videos. So you guys can go and check out these different things. Personally, I like it all. I'm glad that they has a native screen recorder because we haven't had that for years and it took them so long to figure it out to actually implement it into their phones. All right, for this next one, we're gonna go to settings, display, and then you're gonna scroll down until you see navigation bar. And so right here, we have quite a bit of options. So as you can see, on Android phones, we tend to have quite a bit of options. So we can go with the traditional three buttons. It takes a little bit for some reason for it to actually get it to move. But we have the traditional three buttons that we've come to see for years on Android. And you could also switch them right here. And it'll switch the back button to the other side, as you saw right there. Or you could go to swipe gestures, something that we've seen a lot more recently and it took quite a while for them to implement. So if we go to more options, we're gonna see the traditional <laughs> swipe from bottom in those three little buttons. That, I hated that when it was a thing. They didn't even have this one. It was just like the main one was this one. So glad to see that we have finally that just one bar. You can control your gesture sensitivity and you can choose from there. Also, you have this thing called gesture hints, which is pretty much that little line you see there. You could hide that if you toggle this off. All right, so this next one, we're gonna go to the control panel. And then from here, we're gonna go to Dolby Atmos, press and hold, and you should have this screen right here. And now, for the first time ever on an A-series phone, we can turn this on without having a Bluetooth pair on or connecting a pair of headphones on there because now we have stereo speakers as you might have heard by now. And now you have four options that you can listen to outside. Auto is where the phone kind of automatically switches to whatever you're listening to, whether it's a movie or music or whatever. But personally, I like to keep mine to music because most of the time I am listening to music. But you can also switch it to movie if that's what you do or voice, whatever it is, if you're listening to podcast. Mine is, I stick it to music. You could stick it to auto, but for me, it's just music. We'll give you a little bit of a sound test to hear how it sounds.
All right, so remember that we have a top speaker and a bottom firing speaker. And here we have a little bit of a sound test. Let's do at 50% volume, just to give you an idea. Now to a hundred. Now to all the way up. As you can see, it sounds very nice, very clear and crisp. Definitely love these speakers. Now you will notice it's slightly less loud on the top speaker, but that's perfectly fine. We have a stereo speaker, so you, ha you can't really complain. All right, for number eight, you wanna go to settings, display, then scroll down to full screen apps. And here you're gonna see all those applications that you have on your phone. And so basically what this does is fill in the screen to make that full advantage of this 6.5 inch display. And you can toggle them on and off, but just keep in mind, as it says in the top, it's not going to work with every app, even if you turn this setting on. So that's something to keep in mind just in case if you want to do this, but it doesn't work. So it's just a little bit of a disclaimer. For this next one, you want to go down to dev about phone, then you go to software information, then you click on the build number seven times, and then there's this little thing where you have with Android 11 where you can go down here and scroll down a little bit, show refresh rate. That is where you're going to get that little green icon where it says 120. I showed you guys this with the A51, I believe, but this one has it with 120, so I wanted to let you guys know. One little thing that I found was if you go to the camera, you are going to have 60 hertz. As you see, it dropped. In the transitioning of the modes, you're gonna see that it goes to 120, and then it drops down to 60, then it goes to 120, it drops down to 60. So that's really interesting that I found out. I guess I should have seen that coming, but just wanted to point that out in case anyone cared. So 120 hertz all the time. So it's really interesting. And it drops in some games to 60 hertz because it doesn't support 120. So that's really cool that it drops down to that 60 hertz frame rate to hopefully save some battery. So it seems like it's kind of adaptive, but not really. So just want to let you guys know that feature is there if you want to check it out. All right, for number 10, the last and final one, you want to go scroll. I think it might be in, so if you go to these three buttons, you're going to go to edit buttons, and you're going to find it somewhere in here, I think. And basically, it's going to be called focus mode. I have it on because I like this thing. Now, I found this really cool. If you are on work time, right? then these are the only apps that are going to be available to you in this mode. So that's something really cool. Also, you can edit it if you want. You can add in some apps, whatever it is that you want to do. That's what it's going to do. And for the duration, you can put in however long you're going to work, maybe an hour, two hours, and or it could just be until you turn it off. I like to keep it until I turn it off. And so the next one is going to be me time. And again, you can edit which apps are gonna be showing on your screen. And the other ones will pretty much be grayed out and you can't access them until you turn this mode off. Or you can add a new one. This could be socialized and you can actually get outside into the real world and talk to people. So this is where it just you can just, for me, it's my custom mode. I turn everything off. So I disable everything except for calls and text messaging. And that's about it. Everything else, all apps are disabled, so I can't access them. But you can always turn this off by yourself. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like. 
hit that subscribe if you want to see more videos on the A52 5G. This is the US version, just letting you guys know. Uh, but I will be making a lot more videos, camera features, camera hacks, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to do the pros and cons of this device after spending three weeks with it. And also my reviews coming up. So a lot of things coming up on this device. And if you want to see more of that, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it out. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.